Hey guys, welcome back. Bevan here as always. I just moved into my house finally. It was a huge mess trying to get in here on time. We got in nine days later than expected, which is unfortunate, which is why there was no video last week and why there was no video on Sunday and today is Tuesday. But I have something to talk about. Uh, last night, my girlfriend and I went to go see Batman and the Return of the Cape Crusaders which is their new animated film, which was in theaters for one night only yesterday. And it stars Adam West and uh, Burt Ward reprising their, their major roles as Batman and Robin from their old TV show in the 60s. And this uh, animated film was done in the exact same style. It was done with the same corny dialogue, the same style of humor, the same pow, zap, biff during the fight scene, which was great. I loved that part. For the record, this will contain spoilers. So if you are gonna wait for the Blu-ray to come out before you see this movie and you don't wanna be spoiled, then unfortunately you can't watch this video. It's not gonna be like spoiler heavy, but I'm not gonna give you a warning every time I am gonna talk about a plot point. So like I said, it's in the same style as the Batman 1966 TV show, the same art style as the Batman 66 comic that's currently out by DC. Adam West and Burt Ward are reprising the roles of Batman and Robin, and the name is escaping me, but the actress who played Catwoman is also the voice actress for Catwoman in this as well. The main story revolves around Batman and Robin, obviously, and their little feud slash rivalry with the Joker, Penguin, Riddler, and the aforementioned Catwoman. So these four villains are all working together. They have gone out and stolen this science project, which is a duplicate ray. So you take the gun, you shoot the thing, you shoot a spot next to the thing, and then you have two things. First act, the first third of the movie was a lot of fun. You had a lot of really good jokes. You had a lot of G Willikers and a lot of holy insert something Batman from Burt Ward, which is great. My girlfriend, who had never seen the show before, loved the humor in it, which is awesome to see. Super family friendly, just like the TV show. Um, it was great. You know, I had the, the buff and the zoom and the zap and all that for the fight scenes, which was great. I love that as well. In the middle, it really kind of <sighs> died a little bit. I don't even want to say died. It was still enjoyable. It was just, it was boring and it wasn't really, I wasn't really that into what they were doing with the story because essentially what they did, and again, here's like the big main spoiler plot line thing I'm gonna talk about today. In the middle, in a big fight scene, Catwoman scratches Batman in the hopes that she has this chemical on her fingernail and now she can control Batman. It doesn't take effect, but throughout the middle of the movie, Batman and Bruce Wayne kind of becomes this huge jerk eventually becoming a bad guy who duplicates himself and puts all his clones in all these different important positions in the city. Like he replaces Commissioner Gordon and the uh, other head of police guy and the mayor and the butcher and the traffic guard. And he replaces pretty much everybody with a role in the city with Batman. Some, it was something to do with Joker toxins. I don't know. It was all very convoluted. But... At the same time, while it's being convoluted, you have the same weird, I don't even know how to describe it, but like problem solving thought processes from your heroes. You know, Riddler leaves a clue and the answer is zero, and therefore Robin deduces from zero, nothing, zilch, nada, goose egg. Oh, they're at the egg factory. So that was really weird and funny and didn't make sense most of the time. But again, I enjoyed it being a fan of the TV show. My girlfriend not being a fan of the TV show still enjoyed it. So that was really good. They go into space for some reason. I don't know. But eventually Catwoman just gets kicked out of the bad guy group. So she joins Robin to bring Batman back to the good side so they can take out the other three bad guys. But, and then in the process, they have to fight all these Batman clones, so they break out all the Batman villains from the jail, and I, it was weird, but so much fun. And I heard Killing Joke wasn't great for various reasons. I haven't seen it yet. I do plan on getting the Blu-ray eventually. Uh, but like these two 
things are very, very different. I know for sure, I'm familiar with Killing Joke, I know what it's all about. Uh, and this is like the exact polar opposite of that, because whereas Killing Joke was rated R, I'm pretty sure this was rated PG. Even though I said the middle portion of this movie wasn't that great with Batman turning bad and evil and making all these duplicate clones of himself, the overall movie experience was fantastic. I'm talking about the voice acting. Those guys were on fire. The art style looked just like the TV show, not even including the, uh, the big punching words that flash up on the screen. Like the character designs specifically looked like the characters from the TV show. That was great. I thought the jokes were really funny, like I was laughing out loud, and unfortunately there was only like 20 people in this theater, but to be fair, Monday was Canadian Thanksgiving, so a lot of people weren't at the movie theater. I mean, I left dinner kind of early so I could go to the, see the movie, but you know, my mom understood. She got me, she gets me. The only negative thing I have to say about this movie is that middle portion. I didn't really like what they did uh, for the conflict, in the second half, or in the second act, I should say, I didn't really enjoy Batman turning into this huge jerk. You know, this is a Batman movie, but it was really more of like a Robin and Catwoman movie for the middle section. But like I said, positives outweigh the negatives. This is still a great movie. Guys, when it comes out on Blu-ray or on demand or whatever, make sure you check it out. Especially, especially if you are a fan of the Adam West TV show, because this is exactly like it although it did kind of drag on a bit. I, for one, love what DC is doing with their animated universe. I have most of them on Blu-ray, I think. I'm missing a couple of the Justice Leagues and the Killing Joke, of course, but I'm a huge fan of them and I want them to do more. I wish Disney was doing this with Marvel and Star Wars as well. Keeping that in mind, I want you guys to comment below which universe out there, which fandom, would you like to see in an animated universe? Is it Harry Potter? Is it Marvel? Is it Sherlock? Tell me what you want to see below. I will be back next Sunday because I am in my house now. My office will be set up by then. I will be regularly putting videos out on Sunday. So make sure you subscribe to my channel to check out all the nerdy content I'll be putting out all the time. If you like this video, hit the like button. The more likes I get, the more notice I get. That's awesome. I'm only five subscribers away from 100, which means I'm only five subscribers away from youtube.com slash Bevan Boychuk. So if you guys could like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. But I'm out of here. And until next time, folks, I am out like a light.